Hello Red Army and welcome back to another video and I'm building up to the Celtic vs Aberdeen game at Parkhead on Saturday at 3 o'clock and it's kind of a relief isn't it that it's going to be an away game because you know our home form hasn't been great recently the draw against Rangers was a good result but uh, that's really been our only decent home result in recent times and so our away form, our away form's been great you know uh, setting a record for the club's history of the most away wins I think it's 8 in a row and we could be going for 9 in a row if we beat Celtic on Saturday at Parkhead but obviously as we know it's going to be a really hard game you know it's never easy going to Parkhead you know Celtic we could have a really good side but we did think that this could be the point that we could really get a result against Celtic at Parkhead because um, Brendan Rodgers has left Celtic and it hasn't really done much to them you know Neil Lennon's come in, done a good job, you know, he knows the club, he has been there before and he def definitely knows what he's doing. So, he, Neil Lennon's been doing quite well. They've played Hearts and Hibs so far, both Edinburgh teams in Edinburgh, and they beat Hearts 2-1, which is something that Brendan Rodgers really couldn't do. Well, he could, but they lost 4-0 and 1-0 to Hearts in their last games against him at Tynecastle. And I don't think they won last season against Hibs at Easter Road. And Neil Lennon comes in and does that in his first game. Yes, Neil Lennon was at Hibs for the last couple of years and maybe does know how to play. But it's good going to Easter Road and Tynecastle and, both, and getting six points there. So, um, yeah, we've also got Celtic, well, in the Scottish Cup semi-final if we get, we get past Rangers in the replay of the quarter-final. Well, obviously, no, it's going to be tough if we get past Rangers. But Celtic in the semi-final, if we do get through to it, it's going to be a tough game, tough game. And if we do get through, then maybe this is the time that we can make a statement to Celtic about the semi-final if we get to it. You know, so this could this is a really big game for us because this kind of if if we lose this game, it's unlikely that we're going to finish second in the league. I think the league title's definitely already gone, but. Now we're really fighting for second and it's I doubt that we're going to get it but we definitely still could and we just need to secure third place and get back into Europe next season because hopefully we can make the group stages this time but Kilmarnock um quite close behind us so we do need to get something out of this game definitely and it's not really helping us that Gary Mackay Stephen could be out of it I think there's a 50-50 chance that he could play and he could be out of it so hopefully he's fit after goals and absolutely half them in the box last week. That was a terrible challenge. He should have been sent off for that. You know, it was terrible. And he's injured GMS. And, but hopefully he's back for the game on Saturday. So, because he's going to be a vital player for us. Because we'll probably play in the counter-attack at Parkhead. So, yeah, GMS with his pace and skills is going to have to play a big part in the game on Saturday for us. So it'd be a real shame if he missed the game so that moves me on to my preferred 11s team and so we're starting goal obviously so Joe Lewis in goal he has had a couple of shakes I think we can all agree that in those last couple of months especially at Pataudry but you know his, our away form is really good and I think Joe Lewis can just put that all behind him and hopefully put in a good performance because we played Celtic in the Betfred Cup final and we had a crucial penalty save even though it wasn't a penalty you know um no way that was a penalty and another big thing for us on Saturday is going to be the referee hopefully we get a referee because most of the refs are biased towards Celtic some of them are biased towards Rangers but it's mostly biased towards Celtic so I think we can all everyone can probably see that the refs are biased I mean, the whole SFA in a whole are all biased towards Celtic so yeah it's going to be a really hard game for us if we get a biased ref there's more chance of us getting a biased ref than an actual good ref because, what was it, Ewan Anderson, he's a good ref. Kevin Clancy's a good ref. Um, I can't really, no, no really other refs pop into my head, to be honest with you. So it's going to be a really hard game, even if we do get a good ref, you know, it's going to be still hard for us to go and get there and get a result. So the back four has been quite controversial because Dominic Ball's been playing really well there in the last couple of weeks. But we have brought in Greg Halford on new signing and I'm really surprised he hasn't featured in any of the games so far because I don't think we can just throw him into a Celtic game here. Maybe if he got a few minutes against Hamilton or Rangers, you know, but I don't think we can throw him into a Celtic game like this up against Scott Sinclair. So I've decided to put Dominic Ball right back because I think the Kinnis will probably play ball, ball right back and 
you know, we can't really disagree with them, to be honest, because Ball's been playing really well there since the, since the St. Johnston game, and he played, had a good game there against Rangers as well. So I think he deserves to play in this game. So the two centre-backs, I think, are going to be Scott McKenna and Andrew Colt today. I would have put Michael Devlin in there, but I, just, I still don't think Devlin's fit. I don't think he's 100% fit after that um, foot injury he got in November, I think it was. He still doesn't look 100% fit. And I think it was a mistake from the kinest. So he just threw him, threw him back in as soon as possible. So I think he should sit this game out. To be honest, with the pace of self and things, uh, we could even see a five at the back from the Kinnis, like a five two two one or something like that, which wouldn't surprise me. To be honest, it might not be a bad shout, but I think the back, well, the back two for me would definitely be McKenna and Constantine, which McKenna and Constantine really should have had a goal against Rangers last weekend because McKenna missed a good chance, Constantine missed two good chances, so they could have put us through to the next round. So that's my back line. Um, left back, Max Lowe. I think he's the only real option we've got there at the moment. Um, two CDMs, Graham, Shinny and Lewis Ferguson. You know, if Shinny moves on in summer, then Lewis Ferguson's going to be at the heart of that team for a couple of years to come. That's why he signed a contract to 2024. So, yeah, I think Lewis Ferguson is obviously an obvious choice there. And the two wingers, this is where it gets interesting, because obviously we've heard the news that GMS could be out for the game, but I have put him in my preferred 11s, obviously. So I've put him on the right-hand side. So he'll be up again. I'm not sure if Kieran Tierney's back yet or not. Hopefully he's not, so he could be against Easy Gire. And on the left side, I've put Niall McGinn, because I did think about putting Conor McLennan in this game. But I put Niall McGinn in because Niall McGinn obviously is really good at set pieces. And set pieces is where we could hurt Celtic in this game as well as, well as on the counter-attack with our pace. But I do think set pieces is uh, where we could hurt Celtic in this game mostly. And if, even if we put our really tall players in like Considine, McKenna, Ball, Ferguson, Cosgrove. If we've got all of them in the box and that's going to cause a big threat. For Celtic, it, I know it did against Rangers, even though we couldn't capitalise on it. You know, it was proven that we it did help us because of our height in the box. So I think I'm putting again in my preferred 11, so we've had set pieces, especially corners, so you can put a good delivery into the box and hopefully one of our boys can get their head onto it. And in the centre forward position, I put Greg Stewart, obviously, good, very pacey, very skillful, just like Gary Mackay Stephen. And if Mackay Stephen isn't fit, we could see Greg Stewart on the wing, maybe. Even though I think his best position is probably centre forward. But we could see him on the wing. It's not, it's not, he we could do much worse than having him on the wing. And also Connor McLennan, you know, I put him on the bench for my preferred 11s because I was thinking about starting, starting him over McGinn, but with our set piece threat, there's no point. And if things are going quite badly and we need to get a goal, then we could always bring Conor McLennan on at the end of the game because for pace and for skill, obviously. So he can maybe nick us a goal at the end if we need one. And up front, Sam Cosgrove, obviously, he's going to be suspended for the replay against Rangers, which is which is bad. It's, it's bad for us because I don't know who else we're going to play up front. We could see a Stewart there. We could see a Wilson. We could see a May. We could even see a Kyle McKay Stephen or a Stewart. Or a Stuart McLennan in a false nine or something like that. I don't know what McInnes is going to put out, but uh, we have to play Cosgrove in this game because he's not going to play on Tuesday in the in the replay, and he'll probably play on Saturday against Livingston. So there's no need to rest him in this game. I even think if Cosgrove wasn't suspended, then we wouldn't have, we still wouldn't have rested him. So that's what my preferred eleven is. Let me know down in the comments below what you think the team is going to be. And my score prediction for the the game is going to be. I'm going for two two. I think it's going to be a high scoring game. I'm going quite hopeful. You know, I think we can definitely get a result here at Parkhead because our away form has been shown, and hopefully we can maybe even get a win and go for nine in a row. So I think the goal scorers for the game will be. I think Graham Shinney might get a goal. I think he's going to get another goal on the road like he did two against St Johnston. And I think Greg Stewart's due a goal. I think he might score as well. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you think the score is going to be. And as I've said, what you think the team is going to be. And there'll be a reaction show going up after the game. And hopefully it'll be me saying that the Dons have picked up three points on Parkhead. All right, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.